Um, my name is Finn and I play in Wales and uh, we're here in, in Boston. Well, I, I grew up obsessed with the 60s really, I suppose it's the obvious at the time, isn't it, really? Um, it seemed like they had a lot of fun back then. Um, I don't really know. Uh, although I think there's a lot of good stuff going on now as well. Um, we're all maybe a little bit too obsessed with uh, the past in music. But, uh, now seems a good time. As good a time as any, really. Um, it was probably something quite embarrassing, the first album I ever wrote. Um, it might have been the Romeo and Juliet soundtrack. I think it was given to me. <laughs> I think the first album I ever bought was... Um, was never mind. Still hot. Jesus. Um, I, there's, I mean, I've been building a studio at home, so there's just endless amounts of things to buy for that. Um, um, quite like a... Um, uh, actually, I just quite like a trumpet. I like a really good trumpet. Um, oh, I don't know. Happy birthday, that'd be a good one. It's a good icebreaker. And so you kind of you wrote that. Money in the bank. Um, I don't know. I mean, I suppose people have heard of all of, heard of, all of them. To some extent. I suppose there's a few bands that I grew up listening to in New Zealand that perhaps aren't very well known in America. Um, I think everyone should uh, check out the, um, the Tall Dwarfs and, um, and the Bats. Um, yeah, though I mean they're very well known in New Zealand, but not so much here. But, uh, yeah, there's a lot, a lot of great things to enjoy from those two. Oh, I don't know. Um, I like headlining shows. I've gotten very selfish about it. I don't really... Uh, uh, I don't really... I think if you play with someone else, you no know, matter how much you like them, you want to blow them out of the water and so you kind of end up hating them, even if you loved them before. You become quite competitive quite quickly. So it's probably fine. And, um, yeah, I don't really have any dreams to play with, with anyone particularly. I like, it's great playing with really great bands because it kind of makes you want to be, uh, yeah, as great as you can be, I suppose. So yeah, anyone, anyone's fine, anyone good is... is... Uh, well, okay, I'd like to have, um, I'd like to hang out with, uh, maybe, I'll, can I have, like, um, James Brown and uh, uh, Tennessee Williams and um, uh, Prince. Um, I, there's these like really cheap shit, like two minute noodles that you can get in New Zealand. And uh, I only ever eat them when I'm there. I used to eat them when I was like, 11, when I got back from school. They're really, I mean, they're basically pot noodles. They're kind of slightly flashier pot noodles. Um, yeah, I still enjoy those. went to a, um, a storytelling festival in Wales when I was a kid. My dad was playing in a band behind this kind of um, Irish shaman. 
tell these stories and they couldn't make all these sounds about it. We took us out into the woods and we had to go look for your spirit animal and everyone else was seeing like um, and tigers and leopards and polar bears and all the, all the cool animals. And uh, I looked up in a tree and all I could see was this mouse and everyone was like comparing their <laughs> awesome animals. And all I could see was a mouse. So maybe I'll, uh, I'll, maybe I'll come back as a mouse. It's probably alright. You can probably make a good go at being a mouse. I think they get a hard time, to be honest. Um, from rats, etc. Um, I'd like, I'd like to, I like, I think invisible would be pretty good. Uh, it's a bit of an emo answer. Um, it's either emo or pervy. <laughs> but that's fine as well, I suppose. Um, this has been Finn from the Vales in a, in a front of a fireplace in Boston. Um, we have a new record called Time Stays We Go, which is out now, and uh, I recommend 